Hey everyone, this is Ben. Let's see how to make a simple CRUD in Vue.js with Axios. In this video, you can see how to send GET, POST, PATCH, DELETE, and PUT requests to a backend server. Let's do it! First, create new Vue.js app. and create some sample data here. Okay, now we have to display the data in the template. I want to use a package that I've already built and published to NPM. This package is actually a component that receives an array and also has add new and remove item methods. Import it here. And add it here. Then use it in the template. And bind products to items. And use v slot to access each item. And here create some inputs for fields. And use v model to bind fields to them. Okay, let's run it and see how it is. All right, here is our list of products. Create another input for ID. Okay, let's get this data from a backend server. I've already made a simple API server with Node.js here, and I will put this link in the caption. Just download and run it. Okay, it's ready. Here is a database folder and we can use all these methods. Here is database folder. Create a folder for products. and put each record in a file. And now we can access products here. 
in this path. Let's connect to it from Vue.js. Now we need to install Axios. Import it. And after the component is mounted, just use axios.get and the path. Then get the response and put it in products. And we don't need this anymore. Now we are connected to the backend server. And if I create another file here, you can see it here. Now let's create a button for add new record. But at first we need to give this component a reference name. Then create a button. And just call add new. From this. And add an empty object to it. And Okay. And a button for each record to call save method. And pass its item to it. Alright. Let's create save method. Here, get the item and if the item has no ID, it means that it is a new record. So use post method to this URL. And item data. Then get the ID from API response. And also I put the API response in API log to see what is going on. Okay. Add a new record and save it. This is the API response. And here is our new record. And if the record has an ID, we must use patch method. But now we need to add the record ID at the end of the URL. And we don't need this. Let me make this a little smaller. Okay, this is the target URL. Let's change this and save it. Okay, title is changed. Alright, let's create the lead button. 
create a delete button here and use delete method. And here we don't need item data. And after the API responded, use item.destroy to remove the item from the DOM. Okay, let's check it. Okay. Now we can delete, edit, and add new record. Alright, but let's see what the put method is and how it works. Actually put is very similar to post and patch, but it's usually used to replace the entire record with a new record. Well, that's what we were doing via the patch method. Let me make this a little better. Okay, let's go back to the put. Here if we change the title field to name and save it by put method, we see that the entire record is replaced with a new record and there is no title here. But if we do the same with the patch, let me undo the previous change. And you can see here that we have both title and name fields. In fact, we patched the name field to this record. And also the main difference between post and put is that in the post method, we do not have the ID because we are creating a new record. But in the put method, we must define the ID of the record that we want to update. And the links of the source codes of this view app and the API server are in the caption of this video. And you can also see and run this project on my stack blitz. It also has the backend server. Just go to backend folder and run the server. Then click here. 
and this is the app and this is the database folder and I will put this link in the caption